In today's video, I'm going to be going over five fragrances that you can wear while you're bushering your own hair, which will lead to the inevitable buzz cut. I am confident that these five will make you feel like you're sitting down at the barbershop. And let's get into it. And number five on this list goes to my least favorite of these five. It goes to a lavender and fur heavy fragrance. Number five is gonna go to Caesar's Man. With top notes of verbena, bergamot, and rosemary, a heart of fir balsam, geranium, and lavender, a base of amber, sandalwood, oak moss, and patchouli. And like I said, y'all, this is gonna be my least favorite from this list just because it's way too old school for me. I think I've, I've worn this a few times out of the shower, but not a whole lot. It's a cool bottle though, guys, look at this. You'll see here on the top that it's kind of like how Caesar wore that around his head. The same thing here and around the cap here. And up top, there you have Caesar right there. But like I said, this is basically just a lavender and a fur fragrance. Really nice for after the shower, but would be perfect for getting a haircut. And like I said, the reason why it's at number five is because it's my least favorite of this list. And number four on this list goes to one that was very surprising to me when I first sprayed it. It was a cheapie with an awesome atomizer as you just saw. It goes to Quorum Silver. And here we have Quorum Silver. It's defined as a woody, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy fragrance with top notes of bergamot, ginger, mandarin, cardamom, and lavender. A heart of red pepper, cinnamon, and nutmeg with a base of cedar, patchouli, guyac wood, and amber. And y'all, the reason why this is here is because this on my skin starts off a bit spicy but it develops into something that is, in my opinion, a barbershop style fragrance. Now it does start off a bit loud, so if you were to wear this to the, to the barbershop, you might wanna wait a little bit, cause it's gonna be projecting pretty heavily for the first 30 minutes or so. But now this scent, to me, is slightly over Caesar's Man, and the atomizer is incredible in this thing. So with this, you can just spray and go. And number three on this list, we're gonna go back to the 70s actually. We're gonna go back to one of the first Azaros, if not the first Azaro. We're gonna go with Azaro Porom. Azaro Porom was released in 1978 with top notes of caraway, iris, lavender, clary sage, basil, anise, bergamot, and lemon with mid notes of sandalwood, juniper berries, patchouli, vetiver, cedar, and cardamom. Base notes of leather, tonka bean, amber, musk, and oak moss. And as you saw, this thing has some serious uh, masculine notes to it. This has been one of my pretty regular after shower fragrances. It's pretty cheap, so I just kind of keep this one in my actual bathroom. But off my skin, it sits kind of close after a little while. Uh, it, it doesn't really project out super heavily, but it does give that, you know, pretty solid vibe. Like if you were to throw this on before you started cutting your own hair, your haircut will probably come out a little more, just a little better. Maybe, maybe a little more masculine, maybe a little more squared. This might actually improve your haircut. And again, guys, that was Azaro Porom. And the last two we have here, guys, was almost a toss-up, but when I really put them side by side, it wasn't very difficult for me to pick. This right here is even more masculine than Zara Porom, and it's even more barbershoppy. Number two goes to Halston 112. And Halston 112 has also made its fair share of wearings in my after shower fragrances. Top notes are mandarin orange, galbanum, basil, bergamot, lemon, and green notes. Mid notes of carnation, juniper berries, lavender, jasmine, and pine tree needles. Base notes of labdanum, tonka bean, amber, musk, oak moss, vanilla, and cedar. Now for me, this is one of the harder ones to wear. If you were going to one of those old school style barbershops where they sit you down and they line you up with a, with a straight razor, this right here, is what you're gonna wanna smell like. And if you spray this in a room three times, I heard it kind of, it uh, creates a barbershop mentality and if you spray it on yourself more than three times you kind of are automatically turning yourself into a barber with this uh, it automatically makes you better at cutting hair at least that's what youtube told me and again guys that was halston 112 and number one on this list goes to what i was wearing when i got my hair cut it is by definition in my opinion the best barbershop style fragrance that there is in terms of, of designers, I guess. I haven't really experienced too much outside of what I do own in terms of barbershop fragrances, but this is the best one that I have. I've worn it out of the shower, love it. I've worn it to get my hair cut countless amount of times. It goes to Paul Sebastian. Now on top of having this bottle, my dad also owns a bottle of this that he wears pretty regularly. And uh, this is one that I've worn growing up at certain times whenever I reached into his uh, fragrance cabinet. This is one that I put on occasionally. 
Paul Sebastian for men is defined as a floral, aromatic, musky rose fragrance. With top notes of lavender, nutmeg, and sage, mid notes of yangling, cloves, jasmine, and spices, base notes of amber, musk, oak moss, and patchouli. Very, very masculine fragrance. One that when I wear it, I don't spray it directly on my skin. This is one that I just put on my hands to kind of, kind of like aftershave, but that's how I apply this. And it's strong. It's strong. It is really strong. It's more like at the barbershop than Mason Margiela's at the barbershop, in my opinion. That's what it should smell like. And that could just be because of the memories that, uh, that this fragrance creates for me in terms of going to the barbershop in the past. So hopefully sometime this month when you go to get your hair cut, whether you're shaving yourself bald, whether you're getting yourself a little trim, you consider putting one of these on. Chances are that your haircut is gonna come out just a little bit better afterwards. But guys, that is my list. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I do have one honorable mention for this though. My one honorable mention for this list is one thing that, in this list here, you'll see that there's pretty much one thing in common with all of this is that there's a heavy amount of lavender in these style fragrances. You can't miss a lavender fragrance without mentioning the Zahara signature pour room. Just look at this juice here, guys. This is its a bit pricey for it being a barbershop style fragrance, but if you wear this once or twice a month, it is how often you get your hair cut, perfect. And it's not really overly priced, it's just in comparison to what I have down here in terms of like Paul Sebastian, which you can find for like 10, 15 bucks. This for what it is, is a great deal. I'll leave it linked down in the description if you wanna go check out. Uh, they might still be selling these at Nordstrom. It might be sold out, but it'd be worth a check. But guys, that's that. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this list. And until next time, keep it gent and love your scent and I'll see y'all then. So here we have the Victory Crown matte finish right hair product. You guys can see it's matte on top as well, like the product itself. It's kind of cool. And we've used that up here, along with some of their Victory Crown's Texture spray. Texture spray as well. Spray. Now, do you have any website where we can link this for uh, you? Victory Crown Barber Products. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Cool. All right, guys. As you guys can see, it is nicely cut. All right, guys. I feel real nice. My hair looks even better. But uh, here's Jay. Hello. What's up, guys? I appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you as well, man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm at Jay the Fade on Instagram. Uh, Jay the Fade on Facebook. Follow me. Look me up. I'm yeah. doing everything I can to stay safe, stay sanitary, and still work behind the chair as well during these these times that we're facing right now. You know, I yeah. wish everyone the best. I wish everyone safety and prayers. And thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. And if you appreciate his, you know, his cleanliness and and you know, make sure that being sanitized. Check out down below in the description, and you'll see uh, his Instagram link. It, there's a whole bunch of stuff that is associated with with Jay here. But guys, see y'all soon. Peace out. Thanks, man.